We're also tracking Hewlett Packard shares this morning. They released a disappointing 2024 forecast this week. It's adjusted earnings of $1.82 to a $2.00. Two cents a share upside there. That's missing analyst estimates of two dollars and fifteen cents. Even though the forecast is bleak, the company is on target for its third consecutive year of revenue gains. HPE optimistic about high-powered computing and AI. That segment growing in the double digits through 2026. Shares right now, they are lower by about 1.2%. There has been a ton of fanfare around what AI could do for uh, specific businesses here. And of course, there's Hewlett Packard Enterprise and then HP. Q, the other side of that, that's more of the consumer products that's out there. But ultimately, on the enterprise side, there's going to be a lot of those core customers of Hewlett Packard Enterprise that are looking for some type of guidance, looking for some type of solution on what their business can do with AI, how they can become more productive, and HP banking on it being able to uh, go directly to that existing portfolio of clients and sell into them with what they believe the best go forward strategies are around artificial intelligence. Yeah, I think the big uh, takeaway, at least for me, was just the timeline of this, right? Lots of hype around AI, exactly what that could mean for the business here, especially in the longer term. But we can take into account some of the growth aspects of this taking a bit longer, I think, than what the street had initially anticipated, maybe even what executives had initially anticipated. And also, we have to mention that the company did add that it is constrained to some degree by the availability of these high power chips. So we talk about the transition here within the industry, the catalyst that is AI, what that could mean for earnings here and revenue down the line being pushed out just a little bit, just in terms of, I guess, compared to what some of the hope was earlier this year about it would be a more immediate a driver here. But again, when it comes to what HPE is forecasting, adjusted earnings per share for 2024, just shy of what the street was looking for. But we can take into account the operating profit, free cash flow, the fact that they do have the ability to further advance uh, their investments and really their placement here within AI, what that could mean for the business going forward. They do have a lot to be encouraged about down the line. I think that was also general consensus here from analysts just in terms of how much that could really drive revenue growth here sure. within the next couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they said as well here, HP successfully shifting its portfolio, looking at higher growth, higher margin businesses, looking at this long-term profitability potential here. And particularly what they pointed out was this largest growth business, which is Intelligent Edge. It's HPC and AI. That's the company's future a hybrid cloud segment as well. They're all expected to exceed. They're expected to exceed 50% of the company's total segment revenue uh, that you were talking about a moment ago by fiscal year 2026. So something for investors to kind of continue to mark them up against here, expecting to increase the TAN, that total addressable market as well here, by nearly $100 billion over a four-year period to more than $340 billion, led by a larger market, uh, full circle here, by AI. <laughs> yeah, and executives really, once again, just reiterating the strong competitive position that they believe uh, HP has within that space. Well, our executive editor, Brian Sazi, he's going to be sitting down with Hewlett Packard Enterprise CEO Antonio Neri to talk about the outlook of the company. You'll want to check out that interview at 3 p.m. Eastern Time later on today.